let me ask you some mm -hmm. advice to put on your profound hat. Mm -hmm. What uh, there's a bunch of young folks who listen to this thing for no good reason whatsoever. Uh, undergraduate mm -hmm. students, maybe high school students, maybe just young mm -hmm. folks, young at heart, uh, looking mm -hmm. for uh, the next steps to take in life. What advice would you give to a young person today mm -hmm. about life, maybe career, but also life in general? Get good at some stuff. <laughs> well, get to know yourself, right? Like get yeah. good at something that you're actually interested in. You have to love what you're doing to get good at it. You really gotta find that. Don't waste all your time doing stuff that's just boring or bland or numbing, right? Don't let old people screw you. <laughs> well, people get talked yeah. into doing all kinds of shit and yeah. racking up huge student, you know, student yeah. debts and like there's so much crap going on, you know. And then drains your time and drains. Yeah, you know, the Eric Weinstein, energy. you know, thesis that you know the older generation won't let go. Yeah, and they're trapping all the young people. I think there's some truth to that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, well, just because you're old doesn't mean you stop thinking. I know lots of really original yeah. old people. I'm an old person. So, um, but you have to be conscious about it. You can fall into the ruts and then do that. I mean, when I hear young people spouting opinions that sounds like they come from Fox News or CNN, I think right. they've been captured by groupthink and memes and as stuff opposed and, to thinking on their own. You know, so if you find yourself repeating what everybody else is saying, you're not going to have a good life. Mm. Like, like that's not how the world works. It may be, it seems safe, but it puts you at great jeopardy for, well, being boring or unhappy. Or how long did it take you to find the thing that uh, you have fun with? Well, I've, I don't know. I've been a fun person since I was pretty little. So everything. I've gone fun. through a couple periods of depression in my life. For a good reason or for uh, the yeah, reason probably. that's doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah, like some, some things are hard. Like you go through mental transitions in high school. I was depre really depressed for a year. And I, th I think I had my first midlife crisis at 26. And I kind of thought, is this all there is? Like I was working at a job that I loved, and but I was going to work and all my time was consumed. What's what's the escape out of that depression? What's the answer to is, is, is this all there is? Well, and a friend of mine, I asked him because he was working his ass off. I said, "What's your work-life balance like? Like, there's, you know, work, friends, family, personal time. Are you balancing in that?" And he said, "Work eighty percent, family twenty percent." And I try to, I try to find some time to sleep. Like, there's no personal time. There's no passionate time. Hmm. Like, he's, you know, young people are often passionate about work. So, and I was certainly like that. But you, you need to you need to have some space in your life for different things, and that's that creates uh, that makes you resistant to the whole the 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 dip the the deep dips into depression kind of thing. Yeah, well, you have to get to know yourself too. Meditation helps. Some physical something physically intense helps, like the weird places your mind goes, kind of yeah. thing. Like, and why does it happen? Why do you do what you do? Like triggers, like the things that cause your mind to go to different places kind of thing, or uh, well, like your, events, like- Your triggering. upbringing for better or worse, whether your parents are great people or not, you 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 come into you know adulthood with all kinds of emotional burdens. Yeah. And you can see some people are so bloody stiff and restrained and they think, you know, the world's fundamentally negative, like you maybe. You, you have unexplored territory. Yeah. Or you're afraid of something. Uh, definitely afraid of quite a few things. You, then you got to go face them. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 what's the worst thing that can happen? You're going to die, right? Yeah. Like, that's inevitable. You might as well get over that, like a 100% death rate. Like, people are worried about the virus, but, you know, the human condition is, is pretty deadly. 